Did the city of Toronto just make it harder for people to buy homes? Mayor Olivia Chow and city council just voted in favor of new tools to raise revenues to fight the $1 billion budget deficit. For the real estate market, councillors just voted in favor of graduated increases to the municipal land transfer tax. You know this tax. It's the one you pay in cash at closing for the privilege of buying a home in Toronto. On a $750,000 condo, that's an extra $11,475. For now, the new land transfer tax increase would only apply to luxury homes of $3 million or more. Although based on current market prices, a tiny one-bedroom Toronto condo could be selling for more than $3 million sooner than later. Here's how the new graduated land transfer tax will work. It's 3.5% tax increase for properties valued between $3 and $4 million, 4.5% for properties between $4 and $5 million, 5.5% for properties between $5 and $10 million, 6.5% for homes between 10 and 20 million, and a 7.5% tax for homes valued over $20 million. I'm looking at you, Drake. So while the city looks for more ways to make money off the backs of rich homeowners, how exactly are they trying to make homes more affordable for the rest of us?